Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our GSI Outdoors Macro Table. So this is going to be a very lightweight and compact table. Great for if you're out RVing, car camping, truck camping, or hiking in general. Because this means you don't have to carry a large table wherever you go. You can keep this stored inside of your vehicle or your backpack and take it out when you're ready to have your meal. So there's two sizes for this table. There's the micro table and there's the macro table. I actually took the micro table out camping with a bunch of my coworkers because I did prefer that smaller compact type of a table. But this is a great option for if there's gonna be more than a single person eating or if you need more of a surface. So this is gonna be flame and heat resistant. And that does not mean you can put this in your campfire in order to cook your food, but it does mean that if you do have hot plates, let's say your pans or your griddle, you can rest them onto the table without having to worry about it. Or if you need a stable surface for your stove, you can set that up on your macro table. On that note, this does have a weight capacity of 20 pounds. So for your food, for your stove, for your elbows, you do have to be mindful of not overweighing this table and putting, let's say, your bags on top of it. Just focus on your food and your gear. For the overall dimensions of your table, it's gonna be 24 inches long and 18 and 7 16 inches wide. So you do have a really good surface here. As you saw, we did have enough space for two place settings of a plate, a bowl, and a cup. Now let's talk about movement. I do have it on its tallest leg setting. So we have a bit over 14 inches of leg height. So side to side, you can see here as I try to shake it side to side, we have a pretty stable surface. Our cups aren't really moving. Now if we move it back and forth though, along where the pole is holding things together, we do have a bit more of movement. And there, I toppled the cup over. And with the legs folded in, we have a lot less movement. So side to side, almost no movement at all. Back and forth where you had more wobble earlier, this one has a lot less wobble. Still some movement, but a very nice and sturdy table. And when you're ready to go, you can pack it up inside this storage bag. Let's take a look at it in its compact position. So you have this easy to use bag, you have this strap in order to carry it, and you have that cinch strap at the end. We're gonna take some quick measurements. For length, it's gonna be about 24 and a half inches. I like to say just two feet to make it easy. And for width, it's gonna be five and a half inches or six inches if you count the bag's air. So it's, it is gonna be small and compact, easy to store inside of your vehicle or in your backpack. And here you have your table. So you actually have these hair ties at the end, which is just elastic bands. And that's gonna be what's securing your table in the folded up position. When you wanna unfold it, you just take those bands off and then unfold it like an accordion. And now we're gonna set this up. So you do have these legs here and one side you can flip them up really quickly and easily, but the other side you cannot because you have your spokes holding things in place. So we're just gonna remove those out of its clip from the middle. You're gonna have to pinch it on both sides in order to release it, and then just bring it out. From here, you are now able to lift the legs up and then insert the spokes into your table. Once your spoke is through, which it is not, sorry, I push it all the way through. There we go. Once your spoke is through, notice how you have a little tab there, and that's to be used to lock onto the leg. So I've tried the GSI micro table, and that one was a lot quicker. This one is a little bit trickier to do since you have more slats and a longer pole. So it may take a little bit of practice and time before you have it fully assembled. 
You can also choose the height of your table. If you want to, you can have it this tall, which is going to be its first setting, or you can flip out these legs, push it all the way out, and now you have a taller table. So here you go. This is a look at how to install your GSI macro table.